Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier Ellie on a Friday afternoon. How are you guys doing? I wonder um, how it is for you. This is our warm time. It has been 95 on our patio today. So we are kind we are just a bit toasty and Ellie and I are just kind of relaxing and um, happy to be with you guys on a late Friday afternoon or early evening in some areas. I'm so happy to have you with us. Um, we're just relaxing and that's kind of the tone of our weekend is going to be just relaxing. We don't have all that much to do. Roz, happy Friday. Polly, Marsha Long, Carol, Schaefer, good to see you. Good to see all of you guys. Um, Kay from North Carolina. Linda, yes, happy Friday. Oh my goodness, we love Friday. What are your plans for the weekend? Are you guys going to make some cards this weekend? Um, I'd be anxious to know. Thank you for sharing, Kay. Um, I am going to work on some cards, but you know what? I'm also going to clean my house. Lori Mantovi, good to see you. I haven't really cleaned my house since I got back from my vacation. Tina Lesson from Granite Falls. So I, I have work to do. I have dusting and all kinds of stuff to do in my house. Look at look at Ellie when I lean back like this and hold her. Linda is going to make some Christmas cards. Good job. Tracy, it's raining in Connecticut. Wow. That's nice fall. I bet it's taken all the leaves off, huh? Ellie's got her little pony going to the side a little bit today. Um we have, we're going to make a fun card today. Ross needs some craft therapy after a long week with an active six month old. Oh boy, you're getting some good exercise, aren't you, girl? That is some really good exercise. Yeah, Ellie's just, let me see if I can get her toward you guys. Yeah, she's just in her sleepy mode. It's raining in Pennsylvania too. Okay. You're the, you guys are the ones that get the real fall. We get the kind of fake out fall. Our fall comes in another month or two. But it's okay. It's, it's been, you know, a couple years ago it was in the hundreds. So I'm very thankful. And it's supposed to cool down now next week. So we're thankful about that. So um, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, Carol Schaefer, you had cataract surgery yesterday. So you're taking it easy. Good for you. I had it too, and I took it easy for a couple of days. I think it's a good a good idea. Yeah, she's relaxed. She is. It's it's a warm sun, you know, warm weather afternoon. And again, this is her time for a nap. So she's she's trying to snuggle here. Robin, good to see you. Anne, good to see you on your way to Tennessee for a wedding. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds like lots of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in her bed so she can take a little snooze. And we're gonna do a, a windy and rainy on Staten Island. Ah, okay, windy and rainy. Um, I have a friend who has some kids that live, adult kids. I don't, maybe they don't live there anymore. I think they did live there. But it sounded like such a fun place to live. It really did. Okay, so we're going to start out by talking about our special, our joining special, our starter kit special from Stampin' Up! And the reason I, I, I have this thought, so I want you guys to think, ha, do you plan to spend $65 or more with Stampin' Up! in the next six months? And I think all of us on, on this live would say yes we plan to spend $65 or more with Stampin' Up! in the next six month, months. Okay, if you do and you're not a demonstrator, there's no reason not to get the starter kit because right now it's marked down 35% and 
it's marked down to $64.35 instead of $99. So if you spent that $65 that you were going to spend in the next six months, but you spend it now, you'll get $125 worth of product of your choice to finish up your Christmas cards. And it ships free. I wrote down the good things about it. From that point on, you get 20% off every product. You get to go to on, virtual on stage free. You get to be a part of my team and you stay a demonstrator for six months, actually until next April. That would be your pending month. So there's absolutely no obligation. At the end of that period, because you, you get to stay until next April, at the end of April, if you have not purchased $300 in product, then you will be dropped at the end of April. But you've got all six months to get anything you want for 25% off. And you got this great starter kit in the beginning and you get to go free to on stage virtual right in your own living room or craft room. And you could be part of my team, which is no big deal, except that you get to chat with me more often, which I would love. And we do have some, uh, we do have some Zoom meetings and some stuff like that. But um, Beth, good to see you. But I would love to have you be part of my team. And if you like Stampin' Up! product, literally it's a no-brainer. There is no obligation. You don't get, if you don't continue in April, it, you don't get any bad marks, nothing like that. It's just so easy. And if you were going to spend $65 in the next six months anyway, it's, it's just a no-brainer. And we've not even got two weeks left of this special offer. So... Email me, Peggy, at prettypapercards.com if you have any questions. I would love to answer your questions. Or there's a link for you just to sign up. Choose your $125 worth of product. Get it for $64.35. Or you can get $168.75 in product, 35% more, for the same $99, which is the standard price. So there are lots. Hi, Cherie. Hi, Margaret from Australia. There are lots of great offers, and I, I, I think it's really the best time to join. I think I've told you guys that um, there's not really a better, I haven't seen a better offer in a really, really long time. And I, I want you to do it because it's so good for you. It was good for me, you know. I saved money, which was the biggest deal. Okay, next subject the beautiful rustic christmas countdown kit i checked today before i came on as far as i know it's still available i haven't heard anything about it being short do i have it right side up and um these this is the cute uh christmas um envelopes that you put on a it has the the cord here it's the cord that's on this little envelope you can decorate them you get all the stuff to decorate them all you do is punch out there's not a speck of stamping on it and let me show you the little envelopes so you kind of adhere everything to the flap and the base so that when you want to put something in the envelope you just flip it up like that and you can put something in that little envelope you can put a, a gift card you can put um a piece of candy. It's really meant to be an advent calendar, a countdown calendar, really. I mean, <clears throat> let's see, I've got, I've made four of them out of the different um, wonderful, super cute products that are all in the kit. Everything you need is in the kit. You don't even need adhesives. They all come with it. And my special offer to you is a, a special gift. If you order this Christmas countdown, rustic Christmas countdown kit, from me because I really think everybody should have it because it's so super cute. I will send you the Advent Bible verses from the Old and the New Testament that count down to the Advent 25. And actually you get two verses for every day so I think it's 50 or 49. So <clears throat> it's a wonderful kit. I love it. You'll have a lot of fun. If you like my style, I think that's why I like it is because it's really my style. Like if you can see these little guys up close, I just think that's what I like about it is that it's it's so pretty 
and it's not really a lot of work. It's really easy to do. It could be for your grandkids, your kids, or I'm using it for myself. Why? Because I like to be reminded of the countdown to Christmas too and read the verse for the day. So there's that. Now, something else brand new for me is a brand new Faith Creations kit. Okay, I just started advertising it today on my blog and I sent out newsletters and I'm telling you, but you guys know, you always get a little sneak peek that other people don't get. It's called the Holiday Care it's called Holiday Care Cards. It's my October Faith Creations card kit. And we're gonna use the So Sincere stamp set. You can get the kit with the stamp set, without the stamp set, or just the PDFs. And we're gonna also use the, garden, the beautiful Garden Walk Designer Series paper. Each person, if you buy the kit, or the kit with the stamp set, you get a half a pack of this beautiful paper, which is, it's not Christmas. There's uh, one or two Christmas sheets, but the rest of it is all year long. I love it. You're gonna get a, a package of the um, Bloom and Pearls. Now these, they said, it, they go this way, I guess. They said yesterday that it was running low, so I quick bought 10. So I only have 10 until they come back in stock, but I bought 10 in advance for um, anybody who's, you know, so that, the first 10 people who sign up to my card kit can get those, that package. And you'll get a spool of this beautiful Calypso Coral, um, what is it actually called? It's really braided linen trim, it's really cool. It's like, um, it's like linen thread, but thicker. So here are the sneak peek of the cards. Um, this is the only one that's Christmassy, but my concern has been um, like uh, our CEO, Sarah, said, loneliness. And this is a big time for loneliness coming up, my friends. And so I wanted to make two cards each of three designs that would help people who, were, who would be lonely during the holidays. And this sentiment says, you're in my heart and prayers. And that's one of the sentiments in the So Sincere set. And then it opens up like that. I didn't put anything on the inside. Um, here's another one, and I use the same sentiment because I just thought it was so good. You can use any sentiment, and this one opens up this way. And then this one is a little tiny booklet. It says, just for you, and I've made the uh, book binding fold, and then you open it up, and I've tucked some pages with Bible verses in it. Now, you don't have to do that. Here's the last page where you would write but I'm going to give you um, plenty of these. Uh, there are three different Bible verses, so you can tuck them in any of the cards or not. It's completely up to you. But my real reason for doing this uh, holiday care card kit is so that um, we have cards to send to people who need care during the holidays like maybe they've lost a loved one, or they're fighting a disease, or they're just sick, or they're lonely. And this will cheer them up. And um, <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you, Linda. So if, if that's on your heart too, this is a wonderful kit. And um, the sign up is only till next Tuesday. So this is my only advertisement here on the live for it. But just go ahead and email me at Peggy at prettypapercards.com and I'll send you um, the instructions on how to order um, up until next Tuesday. And I'll be continuing to advertise it, but just not on a live. So um, I'm really excited about this about these cards. I'm I made it because I need them and I'm gonna use them too. So, okay, are we ready to start our card? Let me turn you down. And get that going here. Okay, I'm gonna put my camera up just a little bit. These are my glasses. <laughs> okay, the card we're gonna make today uses the Cheers to the Season stamp set. We used this once uh, last month, I think. We used it for our um, for a card we made for Thanksgiving or the fall because it's it has this beautiful so thankful leaf. But today we're gonna to use this Tis the Season um, stamp. And 
I think it's just a fabulous stamp set and it's beautiful. It's a distinctive stamp, which I always love because it, because it has that different shading. And we're gonna do, it's kind of, it's not really a fancy fold, it's kind of a fancy card. It's called a three panel card. I'm gonna hold it up a little closer. So you can see that it's a card base with three panels going across and then uh, a, a slim uh, strip that holds it all together. And then we put our stamp on and some little ribbon. And you can do this, it doesn't have to be any holiday, it can be a birthday, it can be anything. Yes, put prize if you want prize. Um, and I think it's just cute, so I wanted to show you how to make the card. I learned how to make it a while back, and I really have used it off and on. And I think it's just kind of a little step up from a normal card. So let me get it set up there. And here are my um, goodies to make our card. We're going to use real red. Oh, and then this is another thing I want to tell you. I'm using the Shining, Shining Christmas? Is that what it's called? Um, let me get it. Shining Christmas Designer Series Paper. And one reason I wanted to kind of show it to you again is because it's an online exclusive, so you don't really see it in the, um, in the catalogs, and I wanted to show you. And so one side is very shiny. Let me get it this way so it's right side up. And this is the side, this is the one we're gonna use, this holly with berries. And the other side is red and I'm using real red today. Here's a, here's a piece of real red. Um, I think it could also go with cherry cobbler, but I'm using real red today. And this is the a Christmas tree one, which is very pretty. This is the back of that. I just want to show it to you because I think the shiny ones are so, the shiny sheets are so pretty. Um, here are some Christmas gifts, and here's the back. I think it's a really versatile one. This is one I've used all of this this side of this piece up so I just have the stripes to show you but I like those and I think this red piece is really pretty with the lights all squirreled around swirled and is this herringbone I think so and there's some pretty ornaments I'm just putting my sheets on the ground and this is a super cute one this one is candy canes I don't know if you can see it from that far away let me get it up closer See all those little candy canes? Aren't those cute? And this is the back of that one. So this is really beautiful paper. Better get the one we need for today. Um, and I just, I wanted to use it today because I think it's, personally, I just think it's so pretty. And I like the way it shines. So we're gonna start out with our standard card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half. Not a big deal, out of um, real red. And let's just, it's already been scored and I'm just gonna burnish it like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this piece because I didn't have any more. Um, and we're gonna cut this piece to uh, five and a quarter. Let's go by four because that'll leave, you know, the sheets are 12 by 12. So if we cut a four inch piece, whoa, that'll leave a pretty big section behind that big section right there. Okay, so we have that left over. So we've got that at four and we're gonna go cut it at five and a quarter. Okay. So we'll set this aside. And if you remember, what I like to do when I have foil is I do not like to use glue, my very favorite adhesive, but I like to use the uh, Stamp and Seal Plus. And the reason is because the glue will make, it'll show on the front of the foil. It'll make little lumps and bumps. So I'm just putting my Stamp and Seal Plus on the back on each side. And then we're going to just put it on the front. And the way you get that correctly is you kind of know what, a, what if you make, if you're used to using quarter, this sheet is a quarter smaller, a quarter inch smaller than the size I'm using here. So it, you kind of get able to eye it, but I see that I got it a little thinner up there. Okay, things happen, but I don't think people will notice. Okay, our next step, and I've gone ahead and cut these out, but I'm gonna go ahead and get, give you the measurements. 
um, we need to do our panels. It's a three panel card, so we need to do our three panels. And the real red uh, panels are, let me look at my measurements here, one and a half by three and three quarters, and you cut three of them, and then your designer series paper is a quarter less than that, so one and a quarter by three and a half. So let's get these on here. I just think this paper, it's just so shiny. When you get so much of it together with all these panels, I love it, love it, love it. And you know, you know what I notice is as I keep making more Christmas cards with you guys and other things. I'm getting a lot of Christmas cards made here, and I'm very thankful. I hope I have quite a few ready to send out when it comes time because if you just make one or two of every one that I make, you'll have a bunch left too. So here is, I see you guys saying hi to each other. I love it. I tell people, you know, that you are such a community. I love that, that you know each other, you see each other on different uh, different lives that you watch and I really appreciate that. All right, now, the, the pretty part that makes this really pretty is that we adhere these with dimensionals, okay? That's what makes it really nice. It stands up, it gives it, it gives it just a really great look. And I'm gonna show you a secret, and maybe some of, some of you know, but when you're putting three pieces across, I'm gonna show you a little secret to it. Because you might think, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get them all even? Well, let me show you, and hopefully I'll do it right. You know how that is. But I think I will. So I'm putting three dimensionals on the back of each of my panels. Okay, let's start with the first panel. So the first panel I'm going to put on either side, left or right, it doesn't matter. I think I'll start with the left, and I'm just going to put it, this is a quarter of an inch shorter than this edge, so I kind of know how to measure that. I'm going to put it in just a little bit, see if I can frame it pretty perfectly. Okay, there's the left panel. Now we're going to do the right panel. And when you do, Lori, you can't stop making Christmas cards. You've got over 125? Oh my gosh. Wow, I wish I had that many. Cindy Reed, good to see you. So now I'm going to do the right panel and try to get it just lined up kind of like this one on the right side. And I'm, I'm actually going to turn it around just so I can see it a little bit better with you guys. Just kind of like this. So if you get those two pretty much the same, then all you do is put your center one in the center. You know what I mean? Because if you put the center one if you did one, two, three, the third one may not come out right. So this is this is just kind of how I do it, and it turns out pretty well. And then you put this one in the center, and look at that. They're not bad, right? I mean, I'm sure if you measured them, they'd be off like a little skosh. A skosh. You guys know what a skosh is. But I think they look good. And now you can really, really see the three panels. You can see them sideways and they look so nice lined up. I mean, you don't necessarily even have to do the cross panel. I went ahead and cut out the cardstock and the cardstock cross panel is, um, or strip, is one by five and a half. But I thought I would wait and cut this one with you guys. So we need one inch. I don't want to waste too much paper. So, oh, so this is going to be uh, three quarters of an inch, right? So I'm going to go at three quarters and just cut off the top of that, okay? Then I have this big piece left over, which is good. And then this one is going to be five and a quarter. So I'm just going to cut that at five and a quarter, just like that. Okay. And now we're, I'm just going to do one center. Uh, center strip of the uh, stamp and seal and I'm just going to put it right down the middle here and adhere that like that and then this one did I do dimensionals on this one also let me confirm yes I did it's easier really to use dimensionals with foil it sticks on better 
truthfully. So I'm going to do one dimensional on each end. Be let me just say why. Why a dimensional sticks on better on foil? Because glue slides around and takes longer to dry on foil than in on a more porous surface like cardstock. So we've got our dimensionals and you can put this anywhere, anywhere you want, but I kind of like to put it down lower and it just goes right to the edge because it's five and a half. That, that strip is five and a half. Isn't that pretty? Just like it is. So you can do anything your little heart desires to decorate. Now let me get these little, my little uh, dimensional tops out of here. And what we're going to do is we're going to stamp. Let's stamp. Okay. So we've got our stamp from the Cheers to the Season stamp set. And I'm using the Real Red. It's, it's a pretty big stamp. I could have put it on a larger block. This is a D. I could have put it on an F, but it seemed to work for me. So hopefully it'll work this time. And I'm just patting my stamp with the Real Red ink. I want to make sure that it didn't get on any edges. I'm going to do it a little bit more. I want to make sure I have plenty of ink on there. My pad is a little bit old. Of recent days, I've started dating my pads when I receive them, and because this doesn't have a date, I know it's kind of old. So I'm just going to get a little Kleenex and go around this corner because I don't want to get anything on it. Hopefully... Hopefully, I'm getting all of that off. I could get a wet one, which would be better, but okay. And then I'm going to give it a huff. <sighs> okay. And now I'm going to st stamp. I hope I'm not stamping on the envelope, but I don't think I am. It kind of looks like the same size. There we go. That's very pretty. No, it isn't. It's good. Okay. Whoops. Now let me check. I wonder if I left enough room for my circle. Yeah, not quite. Okay, I'm going to stamp again. I'm going to stamp over here and do it more in this on the side because, or I mean, in the center because I want to cut it with this circle. I wasn't paying attention. You know how you have to pay atten attention. My nails do go well, Cindy. Yeah, I just got them changed. I thought it would be a little more fallish, a little more maroonish color for fall, but it's okay. I like it for a change. Okay, let's see now. Now we're going to try it here. I'm going to try to press real hard to make sure it gets in the middle. Really stamped well. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I really like this stamp. All the stamps in this particular set I think are so pretty. Okay, now we're ready to get out our um, mini stamp and cut and emboss machine right here. And I am going to cut around this a little bit because we want it to fit through the machine. I prefer to use this machine when I'm here at my desk with you guys. Let's, let's see. See how much we can cut that down to make sure it fits through the machine. I'll cut it just a little bit more on this side. Okay, here we go. I want to be sure to get that top little bow and the bottom little ornament, get everything on there. I think it's a happy, it's a happy stamp. Okay. That is, and it has a sentiment on it. That's another nice thing, you know, is when you have an image stamp and a sentiment stamp together, all in one. It's kind of nice because you don't have to do a separate sentiment, right? Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get this. Isn't that just cute? I think that just looks really nice right there. Okay, and now we're going to get our dimensionals. Now, one thing we're going to watch out for is this already has dimensionals under it. So it's higher than the panels. So I only want to put my dimensionals right here on the first two panels. So what I'm going to do is hold my... Uh, circle and make sure I get my 
dimensionals where I want them. So let's try it. Let's see here. Okay, like that. And so I can put them right in this area over here. Okay, let's, I think that should work. Because if I put a dimensional down here, then it would pop up too much, and I wouldn't like that. Okay, whoops. Now, are they all off? Yep, okay. So just like that. And you could totally leave it that, like that. Isn't that just cute? I just think that would be great. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and stamp our envelope and our inside piece. Now, um, with this set, you have a swoosh that you could put behind the leaf or the cheers. It's already got swooshes behind the one we use, but it also has these little dots. And I really like dots. And so I'm going to put some dots on the inside of the card and some dots on the envelope. Just checking there. Let's see, so this is the inside piece. Uh-oh, yep, just what I thought, oh boy. Okay, well good thing we can turn that over. I was a little too excited, I think, about dots. I pushed too hard and got ink on the border of it. So let's, I'm gonna stamp very gently this time. Ha, huh. we'll see that. Yay, we did it right. And now we'll go ahead and stamp on our envelope and then we'll adhere the center. Stamp very gentle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that, that happens when I get excited <laughs> when I stamp too hard. <laughs> I know that happens to you guys, so. All right, now we can actually glue this to the inside because this is cardstock and not foil. So we can put a little bit of glue on here. That was our boo-boo side. Okay, don't tell anyone. That's the whole secret with that. Just don't tell anyone and they will never know. Don't go around saying, oh, that Peggy, she makes a lot of boo-boos on her lives. Shh, don't tell them. Anthony, hello, Anthony. So good to see you. How's London? How's this fall day in London? Okay, now we're going to do our, um, like we did last time, the other day, if you were here with us, and I do this frequently, and I'm doing it more because I can't find any real, any, uh, real red embellishments. So I'm just coloring my iridescent pearls with my dark real red stamp and blend because I want embellishments, okay? I want real red embellishments. I could I could have used green, but I looked around and I didn't find any that I had that were actually uh, that color green. It looks like old olive to me, but it could be also mossy meadow. I didn't check. And while we wait for those to dry just a, a little bit, I'm going to try to tie a little bow because I think this is the, um, oh, I forget what they call this. It comes with gold and silver. It's been around for a couple years. Um, the like metallic thread or something but I think it has a different name I'm trying to remember I can't really remember <laughs> that is slipping out of my fingers today come on Bo okay now we're going to get it there we go It's autumn, it's autumn, it's getting colder in London. Oh, it's half past midnight. You're up late, Anthony. Did you go to a show tonight? Were you in a show? Anthony's a theater guy. Tell us, inquiring minds want to know. Were you, were you at a show tonight? Okay, so I've got my little uh, silver bow and I'm gonna put it on with some mini glue dots. Just one I think should do it. And there's one, the, the mini glue dot is bigger than the knot in the bow. So I'm gonna tuck it right up there and try to squish the mini glue dot up to be sort of smallish. Let's try to get it small there. And we'll put our bow right on top of it like that. 
Elegant trim. Yes. Oh, simply elegant trim. That's right. Cindy, good job. Good job. Simply elegant trim, I think, is actually the name. Yeah. And then we just try to squish that little dot underneath the knot. The dot under the knot. Okay. Just a little bit like that. Okay. And we'll trim off our our little tails. And now we can put on our our pretty pearls. Let's see. I'll put one over here. Whoops. Stuck on my finger instead. Okay, one pearl. No, not tonight, but Saturday tomorrow. So all clear for a late night. Oh, good. Are you going to be in a show or be watching or helping with a show, Anthony? I'm going to put one little pearl right down here. We have so many questions. Okay, let's put this one just up here. Whoa, goodness sakes. Oh, I don't think that one brought its little glue with it. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm just going to actually leave two because it has this little stuff up there, so I'm just going to leave two, and I'm going to cut this one off a little shorter, that tail. So there's our card. Isn't that cute? The three panel card. It's it's not hard at all to make. I hope you guys um, kind of got the dimensions down because it really is, it's a very fun and pretty card. Anybody would enjoy that. And then you just open it up and there's your little inside with the dots that match the dots on the envelope. I, I, I like this. It's quick and easy to make. Nothing booked as yet. Okay, okay, we're hoping though. Alrighty, we're going to come back up. So, time to do some prize drawing. Okay, so the prize from last week. Thank you, Linda. I do like it a lot. Um, the prize from la that we that I told you that I would award this week is the snowflakes. These are called adhesive back snowflake assortment, and they're like copper, gold, and white. And they, I haven't opened them, but they kind of moved around in their little package. Thanks so much, Pam and Kay. So the winner of this of the snowflakes is Tammy Hogue. Tammy, I, I forget if I saw you on here, but congratulations, Tammy. Okay, okay, Cindy. Thank you, Polly. So Tammy wins the snowflakes, or it's a gift to Tammy from me for watching. Thank you so much, Tammy. And your um, your um, prize for next week is a set of my cards. I know you guys always tell me that you like my cards. So for next week, I'm going to give three different cards and I'll show them to you if you want to put prize and didn't. This is a cute little thank you card. And you get the three cards plus their envelopes. I didn't put anything on the outside of that one. This is one made with So Refreshing. We might have made this here. It's made with a So Refreshing uh, bundle. And here is the envelope with the little lemons on it. And then this is one made with the cherry set, the sweet cherry set, which I think is so cute. I didn't get anything on the back of that one either. But all three of these will be <clears throat> in a little plastic envelope, and these will be the prize for next week, next Friday, the 27th. You guys, it's almost the end of October. I can't even believe it. So... This will be the prize for the end of October, or for next Friday, sorry. <clears throat> and so if you want these, be sure to put prize. You can put it any time um, between now and like a half an hour before next, before four o'clock Pacific next Friday. And to enter, put your name down and I do the random number generator, assign everybody a number, do the random number generator and it chooses somebody. So, um, We'll do that. We'll have that be a prize for next week. So, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope it's nice and relaxing for all of you.